Hey everyone, so if you just watched my haul video before this one, um, you will see some of the products that I am going to be using in this card um, that I just showed on there. So to start it off, we are going to be using the Hopscotch Designer Mat. And what I'm going to do is there's this great piece of paper in here, right here, and this is what I'm going to use. And I just need this one sheet. And that's going to have everything I need. And believe it or not, in the haul video, I said I did not really care for this mat pack. But I knew I was going to use it, um, find some use for it. And I actually ended up liking, um, believe it or not, this paper right here. I do really love the color. And for the look I'm going for, I think it's awesome. I cannot stand this side, but I do like that side. So I have a piece of that. And these are die cut mat pads and um, they have a shape so this has a scallop edge but I'll be getting rid of that so it doesn't really matter. So these two colors match perfectly. And then from my cardstock I just grabbed a nice light gray color, a piece of blue that the uh, if you can't hear that the wind is blowing really heavy outside, um, a piece of blue that kind of matched my color and then I just grabbed some white. So these are my colors I'm going to use and I also grabbed my Tim Holtz Distress Ink in black soot. I grabbed of course my um, Ink Essentials blending tool. also grabbed my Stazon Ink and as far uh, as stamps go, which I'm going to be using, I am going to be using this stamp set, and I believe this is a Studio G stamp, and I'm going to be using the Little Hot Air Balloon. Really, really cute. And I'm going to be using Cloud9 Designs Beloved. And this is a stamp set that I got off of Scrapbook, and I do not know if they still have it, but I love this stamp set, and I'm going to be using the cloud here. So that's everything, and let's get started. Okay, so I have all my pieces, and I'm just going to go ahead and line them up, make sure I like the colors and the size. I just want the slightest, slightest white border possible. Okay. And that is perfect. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my Martha Stewart scoreboard right here. Okay, and I just use my stylus. You can use um, whatever. You can use the little bone folder that comes with it. I just found that it was um, tearing my paper and I just didn't care for it. So I'm going to be using my stylus. I'm just going to score this at five and a half. Okay, just go ahead and run the foam folder down the edge. Just like so. Perfect. And next, I'm going to grab a piece of freezer paper. And I'm going to go ahead and set that down. And I just have my ATG gun here. And I'm just going to run a very small amount of adhesive not much at all because I want to be able to get this up. That's just to hold my paper down. And I'm going to take my um, black soot okay, and I'm just going to go with what color is on here first and then if I need to I can pick up more color. Okay, so I'm done with that, and I'm not the best um, inker, so I do have some sort of lines and stuff, but it doesn't really matter because you're not going to be able to see it once we get our um, pattern papers down. 
Let me just move that off to the side. Okay. So this is what I have. And actually, let's see. Yeah. Okay, I kind of like that. Okay, so next what I need to do is just grab a piece of white cardstock. I just have a scrap sheet here, and if I need more, I can grab it. Using the Cloud9 Designs stamp, I'm just going to use the cloud out of it. Really, really cute. And I have my Jet Black Stays on here. And I'm going to try to fit as many as I possibly can on here. Okay, that kind of skipped, but it's okay because I'm going to be cutting it out anyway. Okay, that one didn't work. I'm going to go ahead and flip it over. I'm just going to use this side. Okay. Okay, so I have three there. That's all I want out of that. Next, go ahead and put that on. I'm going to use the little hot air balloon here. And this is the first time I've used this stamp set, so kind of hard to get it off. And I have gotten impatient and just pulled as hard as I can and ripped it. So I'm trying to be really careful here. Okay, attach that to my block. And this is what I'm using, this pattern paper. I think it's so cute. So I'm just going to stamp this multiple times, even more than I'll probably need. But you'll see why. So I've stamped it multiple, multiple times. Actually, I'm going to do it just one more time. Okay, perfect. And let's see, what do I want to do? Okay, so what I decided to do is just take another piece of white cardstock and I'm just going to stamp three hot air balloons on here. getting the best impressions, but it doesn't really matter because I'm just going to be cutting these out and paper piercing it, or paper piecing it. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab another one. Okay, that's perfect. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut these out very carefully. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut the uh, clouds off. I really only want the hot air balloon and the little basket. Okay, so I have everything cut out, and I think I am the world's slowest person at cutting papers out. Um, it's not my favorite thing in the world, and it took me forever to get these cut out. But I finally have them all cut out, and I'm just going to show you the scraps here. I just took a piece of paper and picked my favorite colors and cut those balloons out. So I ended up with this blue balloon. I did the green stripes and a little um, tan basket. And then here I did um, that cream colored one. That one was probably my favorite, this pattern paper here. And then I did some pink polka dots and a little pink basket. Then I cut out my clouds and I cut out three of the hot air balloons in white just so I have something to glue onto. So what I'm going to do next is just take, um, and you can see I've already decided, I've already laid it out on the card, 
I'm only going to use two hot air balloons, so I'm just going to move that one off to the side. And I'm just going to use some Zig Two Way here. And let me just grab, let's see, I just want a scrap of paper here. Something that I'm never going to use. And just go ahead and put some glue on the back. And place that down. it's perfect. And I'm going to go ahead and put the little basket. There's my two little hot air balloons. Very cute. I love the way they turned out. Okay, so let me bring my card over here. And let me go ahead and kind of lay this out to give you an idea of what it's going to look like. I'm just going to be putting the blue down and the white. have my three clouds here, which I just want to put on here, like so, and I'm going to put a higher balloon there, and one right there, and I love how this turned out. Um, so now all i got to do is get it glued down. Okay, so I think I actually found out a, uh, just figured out a pretty good tip on how to line it up without setting it down first. I'm just going to take the glue gun and just run a quick strip along the bottom, and only the bottom. And then I'm just going to take it, get it into the spot it needs to be. And then press the tape down at the bottom, and then just do this. Just kind of fold it back. Add some adhesive and that way you will get it um, straighter at least than just putting it down flush onto your paper. Okay, so there you go. And now I'm just going to place this on my card. And I'll cut the extra off, so that's okay. Try to eyeball this right. Sorry if my head's in the camera. Okay, and and it's gonna bug me, so I gotta pull it off and retry. Okay, that looks better. Here we go, more even. And then I'm just going to use my scissors and cut away the extra down here. Trying not to cut my card. Okay. Perfect. It's pretty thick actually, but that's okay. And if I have a piece that comes up, I just add a little zig two way and then hold that down. And that seems to work for me. Now I'm going to decide do I want these flat down? Or do I want them to be popped up? I think I want them flat. So I'm just going to use my ATG. Okay. And that's okay. I want them a little bit off on the edge. No biggie. Ah, it's sticking to me. Good night. This tape is sticky. Okay, that one's there. And then this 
one is just going to go right about there. Perfect. And I'm just going to take my little hot air balloons. And I'm going to pop these up. And I haven't decided. Let's see. I haven't decided if I want to use a thicker foam or a thinner foam. Okay, so I'm just going to use some scotch um, adhesive. It's thinner, which I like. Okay, and just a really small piece down here for my little basket. Okay, same on this one. Okay, so I just have the um, foam tape on the back of my hot air balloons. And I cannot get the backing off. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to put that, not completely at an angle, but just a small angle. This one again at a small angle. You don't want it to look like, you know, if there was somebody in there, they were falling out. And we're almost done. Now I just need to decide on what stamp to use. Okay, to finish off this card, I decided on a Heidi Grace stamp set, which is called Greetings. And I have the Just For You stamp here. And we're going to do my block. total mess on my desk right now. But that's okay. That's what happens when you craft. Okay, and I think I'm going to stamp it right there. Yeah, that should be good. Get it good and inked up. Try not to get ink off my fingers onto my card. And there you go. Oh, perfect. So there's my card. I hope you enjoyed. And it did seem like a long time to put together, but um, I think that's just because I am not a fast um, paper cutter. So if you're better at it, then this card's going to go really fast for you. But I just love the pastel colors, and it's very springish, even though I use the gray and use the black slip. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you soon for another video. Until then, happy crafting. Just when I thought I was gone too far, too far.